guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chastity, and today I have a special guest. This is Brooklyn, my doggy. Hi, Brooklyn. Hi. So, if you're wondering why he's here, you'll figure out in a little bit. Um, I am going to be posting on two days a week. I'm going to be posting on Wednesday and Friday. I decided to make up my mind because I keep making random gaps like two months or two weeks, but I officially made two days I'm gonna be posting twice a week Wednesdays and Fridays and if I cannot post on those days I will make it up to you on Saturday but I'm pretty sure that won't happen so I'm so excited to hop in that we hopped so in go ahead. today I'll be telling you facts about dogs and why you should get dogs mostly why you should get dogs okay so first things first why you should get a dog is because they're so loyal they're loyal to everybody around you. Like, if you live in the house, they're going to be loyal to you. And the first person who feeds them, walks them, like, really takes care of them, they will be very loyal to you. Like, Brooklyn here, he's mostly loyal to my dad because my dad walks him, feeds him, does a lot with him. And we all interact with him, so he's very loyal to all of us. He loves all of us. But that one person, which is my dad, loves him, and he loves him back. But he's loyal to everybody. I just want to let you know that he's not just loyal to one person. But the most loyalty that he has to one person is basically the person who walks him, really takes care of him. I take care of him sometimes, but not all the time. So that's why he is very loyal to my father. But he's also loyal to all of us in the household. Right, Brooklyn? Okay, another reason why I think you should get a dog is because dogs if you're sad they will try and bring up you like if you're really sad they'll try and make you happy i guess they'll bring up your joy and if you're happy they will bring up your joy even more with the things that they can do like they they will really comfort you and if you have a mean dog i think they're mean because you don't show how much you love them so if you show how much you love them they could change instantly so most of the dogs that i met aren't mean He's not mean, but I'm sure the majority of dogs in the world aren't mean. But that's just another reason why I love dogs. And I'm sorry for the background noises. There's really nothing I can do about that. And that's just one thing I wanted to tell you why you should get a dog. Like, if you're always sad, not always sad, but if you live by yourself, I think it would be really nice if you were to get a dog because they will always comfort you and they would be, like, your number one priority. So that's why I think that you should get a dog. Okay. Another reason. One thing I think you should do before you get a dog is search up a whole bunch of dogs and choose which one is right for you. So if you want to go to the pet store and just pick out a dog, it's really not good to do that because you don't know how they would be and their personalities. So you should search up a dog and choose that one dog that sounds like it will really be good for your household and sounds like that dog that you would want to have around you, like their personality. So, I'm going to just fast forward a quick story. I had a dog and named it Dino. We just went to the store and picked it up out of nowhere. And that dog shed. Shedded, like, all over the house. We didn't know that dog shed. I mean, we knew that dog shed, but we didn't know that our dog would shed. So, he shed it all over the house, and we just were like, oh, my God, we cannot have this. My mom was so tired of cleaning up all that dog fur, so we had to give him away. So we didn't research or nothing. So it's really good to research. Like this dog right here. We start research about him. So now we know that he doesn't shed. That he is going to be nice for our household. And matter of fact, we loved Dino, my other dog. He just shedded too much and we just couldn't handle it anymore. So that's why we had to give it away. We didn't even know what dog it was. We just picked up him. We were like, oh, it's so cute. Don't judge a dog by its cover. Just like you don't judge a book by its cover. Um... So that's why I think you should really research before you get a dog. And that's just one more fact. Okay, so now I'm going to be telling you why dogs' noses are always wet. Not always, but sometimes. As you can see, my dog's nose is wet right now. And since it's wet, that's how they absorb different things about Earth. Like, for example, this couch right here. He, his nose is wet because he just smelled the couch. And then he licks it. And that's how he takes in the scent and know what this is. And the next time he comes around it, he won't be sniffing.
sniffing and everything because he knows what it is. Just like if you get a new dog. When you come in their house, I'm pretty sure they're going to be sniffing around your whole entire house to see what is like around so they can get used to the environment. And that's also why you should take your dog some places sometimes so that they can smell and observe different things about the earth and not only know what's inside of your house. So that's why dogs' noses are always wet. And there's more facts about why dogs' noses are always wet, but that's the only thing I know. So let's move on. Okay, so this is the last reason, but I'm just going to round it up from here. Um, dogs have really good hearing. So, like, if your dog is somewhere else and he hears someone walking into the house, he will literally start barking. So that's so crazy. Um... He would start barking. Like, he never used to bark when he was little, but then we decided to get the ring for the, like, security around the house. And every single time he hits the doorbell now, he would start barking. And we're just like, why he started barking all of a sudden? He just started barking. And now, like, my mother, she'll be pulling into the driveway, but she'll be, like, not there yet, but a little bit there. And we wouldn't hear anything. So he'll just start barking, and we'll go outside to look out the window, and we don't see anything. So then after, like, right after we go back in the house, my mother is pulling into the driveway, and we're just like, we didn't even hear anything. We didn't see anything. So they have really good hearing, and they have really good sense. And one more thing that I wanted to say about dogs is that dogs, they are so loving. They're so loving, and that's why I think you should get a dog. And see, he's so loving. So that's why I think you should get a dog, and those are some reasons about why you should get a dog, what you should do before you get a dog, and some facts about dogs. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit this notification button so you don't miss any more videos. And I have been working on my YouTube channel. I put up my banner and things. I think I told you that already. But I have been working on technical things so I can make my channel a little better. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will be posting every Wednesday and every Friday to keep track and not make big gaps between my videos. And I'm so excited that you guys have watched this video. And if I encourage you to get a dog, I'm so proud of myself. But if I didn't, it's fine. Um, that's why I think you should love dogs. And we'll see you next time. Bye.